Welcome. Currently I'm trying out this game here called Pathfinder Kingmaker. It's a kind of a pretty good game in my opinion. So I just wanted to do this little short review and maybe a few spoiler tips. From what I understand, the reason that I really got interested in it, this game is kind of a uh, homage slash continuation of the more classic games like Fallout, the um, Baldur's Gate series, which is another game that I actually enjoy. I'm a Fallout fan and also a Baldur's Gate fan. I originally stumbled across this because they were uh, some hubbub about doing Baldur's Gate 3. But just kind of interested in it as it is of that genre of RPG. I particularly think it does pretty well. It's not as in-depth as some of the other ones, but it does have good storyline to it, good side storyline, companion storylines, which is all really appealing to me. And one nice thing I have is I do have what's called a barony in this game. It's basically a house, but it's not just a house. There's also um, more to it than that because it's a kingdom that I own. This is kind of a capital. Here's a little glance at some of the quest stuff. Has uh, spells and such. Why do you not have spells assigned yet? Because you're kind of a Dinkledorfus. So, customization. I don't have anybody that I can show for that too easily, do I? There's a variety of classes. Uh, there's NPCs to interact with. It's kind of a bonus. Uh, here's the town that I've kind of built up here. You can select a party, and it doesn't have to be a full party either. For instance, you can go out with part of the party. Try to give a little glance at this section. It does have this as kind of the open world part. Now I am going to ding it on this is that the, some of the areas, actually just about all the areas that I load into are relatively tiny. Here we go to this one. Cancel. We'll go to this guy. Up here. This one is like s r indicative of just how tiny. Now, as you're traveling, there are random encounters, so that's kind of cool too. You can explore the map. As you can kind of see here, there's huge parts of the map I have not yet even explored. Um, let me show this as well. This is the interface for the barony. There's quests associated with doing the barony. And you can build towns out here too. Well, start off with villages, then you can upgrade them to a town if you meet certain criteria, and then to city if you meet additional criteria. 
it's kind of neat that I can send not just party members or companions out, but there's additional NPCs that operate as advisors. So that's kind of cool. Let's see. Anything for you? Nope. Okay, so that's here. Let's go take a peek at what it's like to actually build a town. There's this as building function for building the towns. Kind of pretty neat. So I like it. Let's exit out of here. And uh, what was I going to do? I was going to show this about the actual ridiculously small size of some of these areas. Here's the area. This is it. This is not big at all. really tiny so that's a ding another ding I would say would be that the uh, in due time interfacing for accessing some of the different aspects For instance, I have to go here or actually to my throne room to actually access the barony menus. I can't do it from within the actual adventure. I can't even really do it from in town. One of the different sections of in town. Let me show you this. This is kind of a little bit fascinating here. All these places. It does give quest indications. But overall, I find this game is kind of uh, nice and interesting. I haven't figured out how to do the um, customization yet, either, of gear. Apparently there's a way to upgrade some items, but I'm still working on that. Because... Are they doing this stuff? Yeah. There's a quest line associated with that. Not do all that stuff yet. Whatever. Okay, so let's go to character. Let's go to class. You see, there's uh, quite a bit of actual choices. Let me see if I can find a load. Probably don't have a load, do I? But here's another nice thing I like is in this game, there's a couple different auto saves and quick saves. So it's not like, oh, you just have one. You kind of have a little bit to play around with. See if this one has it. 
Hopefully I can show you a little bit about the leveling up. Huh. Here. Adventures can wait. Nope. None of them have available levels. Oh, maybe. I can talk to this guy. Characters close to that one. No. What did I do in between those? Now some of the areas are actually quite large. Some of them not so large. Some of these will have it. Kind of want to show that there's a little bit of customization. This one should have some. Show hopefully a little bit of okay. Can you make an epic pose? This I will hurt. <laughs> Blast him with some fireballs.
they did a better job of saving the dude that time. In due time. Show a little bit more of the gameplay here. Oh, there's actually nice dialogue options too. Character customization, so it's kind of fun. A little bit. That is something else. Is that there are choices in this game, and. Succeed. Not uh, uh, whatever. I wonder if I can save this dude. Probably not. The city. Is the city safe? <laughs> yes. You are mad after all. But I wouldn't want. Anyone else? Ah! Alright. Okay. This is a uh, little bit showing some of the spoilers about. Reporting in your we. I'd like for you to find some way to help the barony at yes. If you have Yay. That's one of the artisans that does crafting. The season of bloom was over. I don't it's invasion really know of magical beasts stopped. If it's finally even getting more a than that. Let me skip that. I'm there. How do you not get enough for level? I, I do what I must. Maybe it's from doing this. Here's another aspect of crafting is well, this is collecting artifacts. Kind of. So that's something else to consider. I'm not going to bore you with inventory maintenance too much there. Let's go talk to this dude. That's what I did. This is not what I did. Adventures can wait. Mm. You've done something.
How may I serve you, Your Grace? Do you do? You can talk to different uh, servants and stuff, or and servants, companions, and such. There's little tool tips and things. Over, but I don't have anybody just yet. <laughs> Adventures can wait. <laughs> I'm going to the main town here. Hopefully. Yes, there are quite a few load screens too. Kind of a throwback to the old games. So a lot of crap to do this. That's not cool. And neither is that one. Because I'm playing on easy mode, I'm not actually doing any of these. Uh, here's another trick that's not really clear. Uh, single click. Will... Let's see, cell 1. Or double click, you can select more. Six. 
hundred. Becomes a little bit harder when you're dealing with a very large number. a new dude. I think that's probably what I did. <laughs> Adventures can wait. I pointed a new dude. That was a cause me to ding. Hopefully, so I can show a little bit about the thing. I'm there. Busy. Maybe like two days. I think I need to increase that. Adventures can wait. Let's go up here. A little bedroom. In my nice little thing. That's what I did. There we go. There's the love up. You see, there's uh, quite a bit of customization. There's some um, specialty classes that have requirements. And then this is what the customization actually looks like. A little bit, not too much. 
Well, not too horrible either. This one because I just want to see what the other guys like. Get to choose some spells in here. I don't even know what I want. Six spells. Oh, I do know what I want. Monster submarine and stoned flesh. Just because. Anybody else level up? Oh, these dudes did. The companions, which is kind of nice because you can also play around with them a little bit. So, I have no idea what I want for him. That's pretty nice. Do, do, do. And it's kind of interesting that I can access the non party companions in the capital. So that's kind of useful a little bit. There's that. Oh, another tip is a couple things here. I'm going to do all that maintenance still, but. Let me go ahead and show you this. Okay. Now some of these actual areas, they don't have an area that you load into. It's actually a storyline, which is kind of cool, I think. Most areas do actually have a place, but some of them, like this one, it was just a story. So you have dialogue options, basically, to choose from in there. So a tip is, when you go to a place to save, you load in. Like right here. Do save. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, here's another tip is for the animals. As far as I've been able to tell, they're for like druids and rangers. Now this is actually kind of a little bit of a big map, which is nice. So anyways. So I'm over here, right? I have this leopard, which is actually... Well... 
I took this character, this companion, and actually made them into a druid because they're supposed to be barbarian, but I was like, ah, I don't want to do that. So it's kind of nice that you can play around a little bit with the characters. For instance, this dude is supposed to be a cleric, but I've mashed him over into being a, a wizard as well. However, um, as you can see here, it's only showing the main companions, not this one. However, a way to get around that is just go into the character screen and all of a sudden you can see the animal there. Which this is quite helpful when doing something like what you want. Putting a bunch of wrong. you can count on see. me. Where did everything go? Buffs on this. Right here, my friend. Trying to see, hey. Yes. How may I help? Because looking at this. There's little indicators here for these dudes. What's the hold up? Here I am. See. But yet, kind of have to uh, have the uh, actual character selected a little bit. But if you go to the character screen here. You see now it has all these nice little buffs that show up on the animal and the health. Now this is something that I found to be quite a bit of an annoyance is See if we can find a fight. Yay, succeeded. Where'd you go? These things are just a little bit vague. Dang it. Hmm. 
because it's kind of interesting how the map doesn't actually stop the gameplay. No idea. I'm also not sure if like the map has something else to it. In due time. <laughs> I think I'm at the point in the game where there's a lot less uh, venturing to go on and more focus upon establishing the barony, managing and controlling it. So, also here's another thing is doing this you have to do like that to actually access or move around the map But overall, I think this is actually a uh, fairly good game. there uh, fake stag lord come on ready and willing I did as you asked thank you
Hmm. I don't want to do that. Here's another thing is, <laughs> if I don't like the <laughs> outcome of a dialogue, I'm just like, ah, I'll just reload it. That's why I like to save on the one areas where it's just a story. It's not an actual area like this. I did as you asked. In due time. I'm there. What a bunghole. It do this. Okay. I don't know where that is, but yeah. Good two days, not too long. And it's nice because you get actual buffs from doing stuff. Oh, another tip is <clears throat> when starting off, save up your build points, your BP, because you'll want this agreement here. And let's see. There's another agreement. This one costs a lot relatively at the start the game. But it gives a lot of uh, BP, so that's something. And apparently, if you upgrade your stuff, your towns and things, it also gives more BP. Oh, that's another thing is, <laughs> here we go into here. This is a tip about checking about building stuff, is if it's next to something, it gives a bonus. So try and actually plan accordingly. Because here, you usually start off with just nine in the middle, one external, and then four, like a pier or something. And then one for up here. And then a wall. As you upgrade, you'll get more slots to build stuff. So, you also get some free stuff from doing quests. Do I have any free ones in here? Probably not. Hmm. 
Nope. So. Does a lot. That's something to consider about is building. And let's see. Another thing that's not really covered too well is that you can get these from the artisans. You have to do. Do I have any of those currently going on? Sometimes there will be opportunities like this, which are nice because they don't cost anything. And problems. <clears throat> Other ones will cost actual build points to do. Because I don't have anything for those yet. I don't really know what I'm doing in order to do all this stuff. So there's that. I need to take over this land. But all in all, you can even go and visit these little towns and stuff that you build. Oh, you also get to kind of select where you want to build the towns. So that's also something. I mean, there's the areas that they're in. Let's see if I can build another settlement. Can I? Probably not. I have to take that place over and show that. Okay. I would like to build this place up again. <laughs> oh, another tip is visiting. Now, there is days of the week there. For instance, this one says at the bottom there, you have visited this location on well day 16, however you pronounce that, third, 47th level. Okay. See, this one says free day. Now, there's no indicator up here other than the day and the month. But that's a way, and that becomes important because there's actually some mission that says you have to. Where did we go? Ambush the occultist. I don't remember where it was. But we went and ambushed some cultists on a certain day. And the fact is, it's like, oh. How do you do that? I mean, you don't really know what day it is. Well, that was the actual indication. It was just check. Another thing you can do is grab these little resources. For instance, this one's currently outside. That gives you the little bonus there, which is kind of useful when you're trying to boost your stats. Boosting your stats gives you the things you need. I had to find this dude, and I don't know where he is. Mm -hmm. 
but yeah just want to do kind of a little bit of review a little bit of a few tips about this game here it's actually kind of nice it was released back in 2018 so it's much more updated than some of the other games and it does give that sense and feel of being a nice RPG because it seems to me that a lot of the games nowadays that try to be RPGs they aren't really RPGs there's some elements and choices that you make but it's kind of superficial in comparison to the classic D&D classic games like that perhaps I'm actually just spoiled because I've played Baldur's Gate Baldur's Gate 2 all the expansions the Icewind Dales I played the Fallout Fallout 2 Fallout Tactics, Van Buren. I've played the uh, Diablo games. <laughs> I've played Wasteland, even. That was some really old school RPG. Just barely above pen and paper. <laughs> I've actually done a little bit of pen and paper RPG realms but this game is actually pretty uh, true to being a good crossover between RPGs now I am a Fallout 4 fan even though it isn't really it's quite a bit ways away from being RPG I mean, there's a little bit, but mm, not really too much in that one. Fallout 3, too. Um, let's see. A little bit of Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic. That was a pretty cool game. Uh, let's see. The Old Republic. Star Wars The Old Republic Online. Uh... A little bit of Star Trek Online. Uh, I've dabbled in a few other online games. For instance, uh, oh gosh, can't remember the name of it. It was like super glossy, but it was actually pretty good. Uh, But it would be interesting to see. Now, I've also dabbled in strategy games such as the Red Alerts. And let's see, Age of Empire. Uh, the Knights and Kingdoms. Done a little bit of Kingdom Hearts. That was a uh, kind of an alright game. Done. Not really a big fan of first-person shooter or fighter games. Although those games do try to incorporate RPG elements in them nowadays. Or over the general evolution of them. But those games, not really. That's kind of a little bit of a turnoff in Fallout 3 and Fallout 4. And I really don't like sandbox games because they're just not cool. There's too much of you get 
buttheads just being buttheads in those games. So, I have a little bit of experience with a few games on a few different platforms. But I would like to recommend this game because it's actually pretty cool. It seems to do pretty well.